This is the video tutorial for the Syndax application, which is a revolutionary tool that allows you to do more with more tools, uh, essentially maximize the use of your time, spend less time writing and signing documents, meeting people uh, physically, and instead uh, being able to send documents to them quickly, have them sign it on their uh, iPad, and then return it right back to you by email, all within minutes. With that said, let's go ahead and open the application and then uh, let's go into the settings so that you can see some of the things available to you here. Uh, the first screen right here is the FTP. And um, in addition to email, we also allow you to upload uh, documents via the FTP. And the, the main thing to make sure is, well, number one, check your FTP settings on the server you're using. And then the number two uh, issue is make sure that in the end, you specify the name of the file, the PDF file that you are going to import. So in other words, it should end, the address should end with the name .pdf. And with that said, let's go into uh, the pen setting right here. When you sign the document, you have an option here to use a certain pen color, width, the font that you're going to sign with, uh, and so forth. There's also a timestamp available. And as you can see, there are three formats for you to choose from. You don't have to use a timestamp, but should you decide to use one, these are the three options available to you. Okay, we also have a demo available for you right here where it opens up with the library and this is where of course you import all of your templates in other words documents that have not yet been signed and then we kind of take you through the flow of uh, showing you the signed documents as well as how you import the PDF uh, how you go through that entire process as well as in the end uh, how, how you uh, choose the customer you know choose the project associate them uh, choose your you know your pen color and so forth how you sign the, the document uh, how you save it right into a folder and uh, you timestamp it and then you have uh, you know the finished product right here how you can print it to an Apple supported printer device uh, and that's where it ends okay so the first step is to actually get a template imported into the app so in other words an unsigned document that you are going to work with so we're gonna go ahead and go into email right here and as you can see in this email, I already have uh, a lease uh, document called leaseform.pdf. I'm just going to press and hold it, and then I'm going to open it and sign docs. And as soon as I do, as you can see in my template docs library, the document appears, right? It's uh, just a simple PDF that uh, is ready to be worked with. Now, one point of clarification, when you open a document from the uh, template library, it'll say that this PDF is open in read mode only. This is not the place where you're actually going to sign the document. This is the time for you to be able to discuss the document with your client, your prospect, whoever it may be. This is where you can zoom it in and out, uh, which you cannot do uh, at the place where you're going to sign the document in order to protect the integrity of the document and the process uh, in general. So uh, this is the time to discuss it, go over things, and then once you hit back, this is your chance to now go associate it with a customer, which I'm going to show you how to do, after which I'm going to show you how to go to the, to the, to the end of the flow where you actually sign it uh, and lock it and then get it ready for printing and uh, uh, export, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. So we're going to go ahead and add or edit customer. This is, uh, if you don't have a customer already created, most of you will uh, in your contact uh, section, but if you don't, you can always create a dummy customer just so that you can have a customer to associate the PDF with. So we're just going to go ahead and create a so we're going to go ahead and as you can see we have four here we can choose from but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one imagine that list was empty and we're just going to call it a test dummy. And so uh, we created this customer, we're gonna hit done. Uh, we do recommend that you uh, associate, uh, attach a picture to it in case you have you know, a few people by name of John or Robert or whatever it may be, just so that you can distinguish between the two. Uh, but uh, that certainly isn't necessary. So we have a test dummy that we're gonna associate this uh, PDF with. Uh, and then we're going to uh, create a project and we're gonna call it test, okay? And then we're going to select our PDF file, obviously uh, lease form we just imported. It's ready to be worked with. And then we're going to put uh, in the notes that this is just a test. We're going to save it. And now this is this project is ready to uh, to be worked with. We're going to go ahead and back out of the screen, back out into sign docs, and go back into customer select. 
and now double tap and this file is now ready to be signed. So uh, before we actually sign the document, we do have the option to uh, change the pen settings again. Again, you can uh, work with the pen width, the font, uh, the color sort of combination, uh, whatever works for you in this specific document. If it has to be signed uh, strictly in black or strictly in blue, uh, whatever it may be, it's all available to you right here. We're going to go to the signing page, which is the last page right here, and then I'm going to show you the flow. So we're going to go ahead and create the label. Uh, I'm going to tap in here, and we're going to say that this is... Uh, this is landlord. This is going to be the landlord signature. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and press return. And then it's going to say drag the label to place at desired position. So we're going to go ahead and drag it to right here. And then, uh, in fact, I'm going to drag it even a little bit to the left so I can sign to the right of it. And then save the label. Okay, now this label has been created and saved. And then we're going to create a new label. Uh, and that, that label will be called tenant. Return. And then drag it to the right, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and save that label. The next thing we're going to do is add a timestamp. And we're just going to say that it's, uh, let's say, 12 p.m. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drag this timestamp to, let's say, the bottom of the page. Save that. And now we're ready to sign. Before we sign, we lock the document to protect its integrity. At this point, this document cannot accept any more new labels. Uh, the only thing that can be done is it can be signed. So we're going to go ahead and just create a signature here, and then we're going to create a signature right here. And then we are going to save the document. Do you want to create a new folder? If you already have a folder, you're going to select an already created folder. We're just going to say yes, but we're going to create a test folder. And then we're going to save the document as lease one. Okay, the document has been successfully saved. And now this document can be emailed to the address of your choice right here. We're going to go ahead and hit send. The message has been sent. And now you can find it in your inbox. So now I'm going to go into the email screen, uh, check my inbox, and as you can see, this document was just received, and then I can pull it up, and here it is. It's ready to uh, for printing. It's ready for uh, forwarding to your uh, you know upper management or your boss or whoever it may, whoever it may be. It's good to go. And so lastly, we're going to go ahead and show you that import screen again. And just to remind you, yes, you can connect via the FTP. Uh, you can also uh, connect via the iTunes, as you can see. That's the second option right here. And then you can also connect via email. And that's the method that we actually just showed you. Uh, connect via FTP, uh, I showed you as well. Make sure the address is correct. And so uh, with all that said, we hope that uh, you enjoy this app. We hope that you that, that increases your productivity. Remember, this is one of the those powerful tools uh, where either at the you know corporate enterprise level or even as a small business owner, you can really make good use of your time, spend less time going back and forth to your office, to your client's office, and whatever it may be. Let's go green. Let's increase productivity, uh, and let's make this uh, the, the truly revolutionary tool that it is. Enjoy it.